This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night two. Anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't getting worse. All right, folks, with that, I'm getting anxious. Both fighters have graced the octagon, ready to go here from a sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we are back in Montreal at the Bell Center. And with, and with respect to all of the MMA fans globally around the world, for my money, this is the loudest venue I have ever heard for a UFC event. If they say that the United Center is the home that MJ built, this is George St. Pierre's home, the Bell Center in Montreal. And I'm telling you, man, when the hometown boy hits the curtain, these people go crazy. This is a phenomenal fight. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, this should accomplish something. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the great timing on that double leg. Aspinall's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subs. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. That was a slick transition. 
This is a terrible position. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Takes his back now. Big right hook there by the champ. Good work from the top here by Aspinall. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Down with his mouth. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Aspinall. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Aspinall's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finisher position. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, he's getting submitted. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth with submission defense wins this transition. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fight, got to watch his neck. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, throw posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Single collar tie now. Strike the back of the head, pull it forward on the head, and then land in those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Big power shot there. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Second round, straight ahead. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath, bro. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you got to be very aware against this guy, or he's going to catch you in something that you can't get out of. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round here. All right, next round is underway, and we have seen across the board in the UFC, submission defense has gotten so good. Certainly that was on full display in the previous round. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of sliding right out of all of those submission attempts. Let's see if it continue to ward off those attempts as we go forward in the title. Beautiful job by the champion. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning 
He can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in his performance. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Nice block. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Missed on the right hand. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Why now they separate? Well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Aspinall's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Print the shirts, ground and pound. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in. Oh, Kamora attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kamora locked in. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Espinol's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Where your head? Grounded him and pounding him. Nice job. Beautiful ground and pound. And that would cut it. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't know. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only the Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Aspinall. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas did on bar set up here. Nice setup on that arm bar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Aspinall's right back to the full mount here. Just gotta be careful here. Number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye, and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Yeah. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Oh, big open. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. He passes to half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Aspinall's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Changes the position. Oh, right into Mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. Takedown defense holds up. Whiffs on the straight right hand. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Aspinall gets stunned there by that stiff jab. I mean, is this man on his feet? How many times can you say punch to the head? Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense early. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Oh, nice. Oh, nice headlock. That guillotine is tight. Struggling to create the angle here. It's going to be tough, but he's going to keep trying. He's up. What's the defense on him? position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, so. he loves it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Submission attempts in bunches, another one here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Wow, fantastic submission defense yet again. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Aspen. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strike. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. 15 shots. Trying to lock up on a submission oh. now. 
Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. Oh. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive rest. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for... You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth yeah. round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. These boys are standing right in front of each other just kind of going at it. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Doubles up on the jet. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. But if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense was able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Back to his feet. Nice job by him defensively there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice, no pressure. Keep going with the lead punch. Aspinall's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah, he does everything so well. And he's taking for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in full guard. And he's back up. Why well, we told you would keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Lands a switch knee. Once again, employing the knee. Got the hook in quickly. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not gonna move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's he's so stubborn in trying to go. Oh. One out as he blocks the kick. Takedown defense holds up. Now some separation. Oh, my God. Now he's back up. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. 
Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose positions. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Great job landing the strike from his back. Trying for a submission here. Oh, oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in the submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Nice jab. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Looks like that body kick at home. Spinol's limping heavily now. May want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice counter shot there. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. Oh! Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing to land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Lands the ground and pound strike. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike to the body. Oh, great reversal to top position by Aspen. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Lands another strike upstairs. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Somehow he gets out. Well, he had the triangle choke locked in, but he did a good job of staying patient, maintaining his calmness, and found a way out. Great job defensively. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Totally somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Oh, nice. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Aspinall. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. Well, what a great showcase for these two fighters and this division down to the wire between two of the best. They show what type of fighter this division possesses. They should be very proud, both of them. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. That's it! the win by TKO. <laughs> well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. 
it, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. 